In this video, we shall have a look at how we can extract multiple rows of data from a value compared to the normal VLOOKUP, which gives one row, and the normal XLOOKUP, which gives one row also. First, let's see the data. Here we have in columns A through to D, typical sales data, order numbers, customer names, item numbers, and sales amount. Now, for many, many years, the normal VLOOKUP has been a real hero in terms of the Excel world. Let's just go through it once again, how it works. Here we have a value in F2, Enigma Metals. We're trying to find out the sales amount for Enigma Metals. Now, the thing is, Enigma Metals appears several times in column B. So first of all, what I've actually done is named a table array, a table range, if you will. If you will. I've called this table range. And that's the data from B2 to D27. So the typical normal VLOOKUP looks at a value, Enigma, Enigma Metals in F2, goes to the table range, always looks to the first column where it does the match, Picking up column three, one, two, three, three is the sales amount and false is an exact match. And we get the first occurrence, the first occurrence for Enigma Metals sales amount, 1,500. In truth, for all its benefits, and there are many of them, and you can see these in our previous videos on XLOOKUP, this also returns the first occurrence for Enigma Metals, 1,500. So here we have an XLOOKUP function we're looking at F5, the value in Enigma Metals, where it's found first of all in column B and returns the first occurrence of a matching um, entry, £1,500 in column D. So I want to show you here how the new, or relatively new, in 365, a function called equal filter works. And we have an example here. So here we've got odd numbers, names, items and sales amount. But this time I'm looking for all the occurrences, all the data for Enigma, Enigma Metals, not just the first value, and indeed all the columns. So here's how it works. Equal filter. We're looking at A2 to D27. I want to show all the columns. And we're analyzing B2 to B27. And we're comparing what's in B2 to B27 to an absolute cell reference $F$2 Enigma Metals. So wherever it, wherever it finds Enigma Metals in column B, it will show all the data. If no customer is found at all, a little error message if you will, no customer found. So let's see how this works. I change now Enigma Metals to, for example, Herd Steels. There you can have it. So you get many occurrences wherever herd steals occurs in column B, all the data is shown. So I really do hope you'll, you'll find advantage to use these equal filter functions. They're called dynamic arrays. Enjoy.